Hey friends, thanks for listening to Eat Your Spanish. If you want to support our podcast, you can do so by subscribing to the show and leaving a positive review on your podcast app. You can also support us on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish, where you can get exciting bonus content such as songs, stickers, and more for as little as $2 a month. Thanks for listening. Now on with the show. Hello, friends. Hola, amigos. How are you? Como están? I'm so happy. Estoy feliz. To be with you. Estar contigo. Are you hungry? Tienen hambre. To sing and play. A cantar y jugar. Cause on our menu. Porque en el menu es Spanish today. Everybody sing. Eat your Spanish. Eat your Spanish. Eat your Spanish with us today. Did you say spinach? No, I said Spanish. Okay, eat your Spanish. With Mrs. Elephant and Mr. Mouse. It's time for Spanish Word of the Week. For if it's learning Spanish that you seek, you'll be so impressed with all the words you can speak. It's time for Spanish Word of the Week. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Mouse. Hola amigos, me llamo Mrs. Elephant. Yo me llamo Mr. Mouse. Welcome to our very special Spanish Word of the Week segment here on Eat Your Spanish. We're so excited to share this very special Spanish Word of the Week from one of our Patreon subscribers. <laughs> I gotta say, amigos, this one makes me laugh out loud. <laughs> oh, goodness, I can't wait till y'all hear it. This cheeky friend really got me good. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can find the drum roll button. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Hmm. Is this it? Oh! <laughs> looks, looks like it might be the one next to that. But hey, Mrs. Elephant, I love that instrument. And I've never known what it's called. Do you know what that instrument is? Oh, that's a great question, Mr. Mouse. That's the instrument that we hear all the time at the beginning of the Eat Your Spanish episodes. It's called a guzang. It's a very special wooden harp that originates in China. I bet it sounds familiar to some of you amigos listening. Anyways, let's try that again. Drum roll button is... Alrighty, amigos. This week's question is from... Sam! your question hola my name is Sam and I was and I was thinking about how you were gonna how you say eat your spice in spice hasta luego amigos <laughs> oh goodness it makes me laugh every time that was pretty cheeky as they say in the UK yeah good one Sam you made us both laugh with that one eat your Spanish isn't that a play on words I think it might be, but I'm not 100% sure I know exactly what that is. Here, let me look it up real quick. <clears throat> According to the dictionary, a play on words is a humorous way of using a word or phrase so that more than one meaning is suggested. Wow, thanks for looking that up, Mr. Mouse. Well, I think it might be. According to Evan and Vanessa, they called the podcast Eat Your Spanish because it almost sounds like Eat Your Spinach. Oh, yeah, you can even hear some of our amigos asking if they say spinach in the beginning of our Eat Your Spanish theme song. That's so funny. I wonder if the word for Spanish is similar to the word for spinach in Spanish. Whew, that was a really tricky sentence. Oh, <laughs> Wow, my, wow, Mr. Mouse, you, you really made me laugh. Whew, that is a great thought, though. Let's translate it and see if it stays a play on word after it's translated into Spanish. I'll say it first, and then y'all can repeat it. Eat your Spanish in Spanish is Come tu Español. So repeat after me. Come tu Español. 
Come to Espanol. Come to Espanol. Come to Espanol. Muy bien, amigos. That was great work. Yeah, nice Espanol, amigos. So if Spanish is Espanol in Spanish, then what is spinach, Mr. Mouse? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's espinaca. So, hmm, espinaca, espanol, spinach, spinach. Hmm, I don't think it really translates to a play on words, but that's okay. It still was a really fun experiment. Yeah, it really was, Mr. Mouse. Languages are just fascinating. Well, now that y'all know the word for this week, your challenge will be to use the words come to espanol instead of eat your Spanish every chance you can for this whole week. Maybe you can even try writing those words down. Good thinking, Mrs. Elephant. Don't forget to send us a picture, video, or piece of beautiful artwork, or you saying come to espanol. We just love all the videos you've sent us. Keep them coming, amigos. Yeah, I agree, Mr. Mouse. Y'all are just the best. You're so wonderful. Well, we've had so much fun with you all today, amigos. But now it's time for our special goodbye song. We hope y'all will sing along with us. Adios, amigos. Goodbye, friends. Hasta luego. See you later. Thanks for listening to the Eat Your Spanish podcast. You can support our podcast by visiting patreon.com forward slash eat your Spanish or by subscribing to it and leaving a review on Apple Podcasts. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, or on the web at eatyourspanishpodcast.com. Thanks for listening. Adios. Adios.